And there are your red romaine lettuce leaves on the veggie experiment. And we're standing by now for uh, the first consumption of one of these red romaine lettuce leaves. Having lived on the space station here for a while, I understand the, uh, the uh, logistical complexity of having uh, people live and work in space for long periods and the, uh, the supply chain that is required to keep us going. And if we're ever gonna go to Mars someday, and we will, and, uh, but whenever that is, we're gonna have to have a spacecraft that is much more uh, self-sustainable uh, with regards to its uh, food supply. And there's gonna be a long period of time where we're gonna have to be completely self-sufficient. So uh, this payload and having the ability for us to grow our own food is a, uh, a big step in that direction. Cheers, 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 cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Tastes good? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> kind of like arugula. Yeah. Listen carefully and you can even hear it breathing. These extraordinary pictures come from a small camera fitted into the rhino's horn by British scientists. They hope it'll be a key weapon in the fight against poaching.